Okay, here we're going to use the table of integrals to evaluate the following integral. The integral that we have is 1 dx divided by 2x cubed minus 3x squared. So if you look in the denominator, is there something that we can factor out? Well, we can. We can factor out the x squared. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we're going to have 1 over factor out the x squared. And we have 2x minus 3, and that's times dx. Okay, and then what we can do is now we can reorder this to be 1 over x squared times negative 3 plus 2x times dx. Okay, now let's take a look at our table of integrals and see which one that this matches. So if we come all the way down to 50, you're going to see that we have 1 over the variable squared times the constant plus the value of the coefficient times the variable is equal to the following. So it looks like it's 50 that we're going to use for our problem here. So, we can now just go ahead and use this rule here, where we know the following. So we know that u squared is going to equal x squared. We know that a is equal to negative 3. And we know that b is equal to positive 2. We know that a squared is going to be negative 3 squared. And we also know that u would equal x, because if we took the square root of both sides, we know that u is equal to x. So now that we know what our substitutions are, now we can go ahead and then use this form here. So we know that we have negative 1 over a, which is negative 3, times u, which is x, plus b, which is 2 over a squared, which is negative 3 squared, times the natural log of the absolute value of a, which is negative 3, plus b, which is 2, u is x, over x plus c. And now let's go ahead and simplify a little further. So we have a negative times a negative, which is going to give us a positive. So we have 1 over 3x plus 2 over negative 3 squared is 9. So that's 2 ninths times the natural log of the absolute value of 2x minus 3 over 3 plus C. And therefore there is our result.